Good morning, my single friends. I am Julia Miller. I am the director and I'm the founder of Citywide Singles. I want to invite you to join me for tea time and prayer this morning as I bring the word of God to you about the abundant life. Have you ever thought, you know what, there's got to be something more to this life. I want to live in the abundance, the abundance of God. And I want to reassure you that Jesus said, I came to give you life and to give it to you more abundantly. So we're going to talk about this this, this morning as I bring the word of God to you because I sat down and I was praying about this, um, just praying, God, what do you want to reveal to me this morning? And this is really... Um, something that I found to be pretty pivotal in my Christian walk and I want to share it with you because I don't think that God just threw us here on this earth and said, you know what, you guys figure it out. I hope you survive. I hope you make it. That's just not the God that I know. And I know that God loves you and he's got a good plan for you. And so he wants to bring about that abundant life for you. Here's the interesting thing is that scripture, sometimes we hear a scripture in our heart, in our mind, what just comes to mind and you got to sit down, you got to Google it or, or look it up somehow, maybe in a, in a Bible app and think, where did that come from? And really, look at the context of what's being said there. So if you look up John 10, 10, where the scripture comes from, it says, the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus, this is Jesus talking, he goes on to say, I have come to give you life and to give it to you more abundantly. See, Jesus knew that he wanted us to flow in the abundant life, but there was a very real enemy that wanted to try and steal the blessings of God from the people of God. So what I want to point out is that how does the enemy do this? Because if we understand what the strategy of the enemy is, then we have a leg up in the sense that we now know what we're going to need to do to combat this. So if you look in 2 Corinthians 2, it talks about, this is Paul talking about um, how to forgive. He is writing a letter to the, the, the people in Corinthia and he says, what I have forgiven, I have forgiven in, in the sight of Christ for your sake. So he's saying he's choosing, he's choosing to forgive because he knows that this is going to affect his walk, his Christ walk. And he said, in order that Satan might not outwit us, for we know that we are not unaware of the schemes of the enemy. So here's the thing, is that what are the schemes of the enemy? It's to steal, kill, and destroy. Okay, how does he do this? He does this through a spirit of offense. And we don't want to allow offense to come in and it creates resentment, which then creates unforgiveness. And we're holding on to these things. And now we've got division, which causes um, the enemy to steal, kill, and destroy our joy, our relationships, and the future that we might have had. So if we want to step into that abundant life, it's going to boil down to this, coming into this place of forgiveness in him. Remember, um, in Matthew 16, it talks about that he's given us the keys of the kingdom. I love you guys too. <laughs> God's given us the, the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And those keys revolve around binding and loosing. It says, I will give you the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So I just want to give you a practical way that this looks because all of us struggle with this. All of us struggle with um, challenges in our life where somebody um, says something or does something or maybe you've said something or done something to offend somebody and you think, oh gosh, I didn't mean for that to happen. And you really wish you could take it back but once it's out of your mouth, it's, it's already out there. And the best you can do is, is try to approach that person and apologize to them. But I, I just, you know, it all comes back to a heart issue. Remember um, David, who became the king of Israel, the second king of Israel, he was the least likely to be in that position. He wasn't even the firstborn child, which was considered to be the child of privilege. He was the lastborn, okay? What did it have to do with? It had to do with his heart because um, the Lord said, you know, I will look for a man that has a heart after me. So God always looks at the heart. And if we want to have a closer relationship with God and we want to flow in the abundance of everything that God has for us, it's really going to boil down to this principle of, of, of living uh, by the principles of God. And the principles of God is that he looks at our heart and he doesn't want us to have a heart of stone. 
uh, there's another scripture in the Old Testament that talks about that he would take our heart of stone and give us a heart of flesh. So our prayers really need to revolve around, God, keep my heart tender before you. God, keep my heart gentle before you. God, help me to move in the things of you. God, I pray, Father God, that this person that I've offended, God, I pray that you would just take their heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh so that they would forgive me. And we just, we just come into that place of submitting ourselves. And if somebody's offended us, we need to address it quickly because the Bible tells us not to let the sun go down, down on our anger. So I'm, I'm bringing this to you because I think this is the thing that trips us up over and over again, particularly in our single circles, because in our single circles, we're used to living alone. We're used to not having to... to, to, to to make amends you know you make me mad I make you mad you go to your side and I go to my side and we leave each other alone is kind of the mentality that we've taken over the years in our single circles and you know what that doesn't really fix it we really need to strive to live at peace with all men so I want to encourage you today to just bring this before the throne of grace because at the end of the day it's not about me it's not about you it's about what's pleasing to our father because we want to have a heart that's after our Father God. We want to be pleasing in His sight. And we don't have anything to prove. I don't know about you, but I don't have anything to prove. You know, I'm not getting paid to do these videos. I do it because I feel like that's what the Lord put on my heart to do so as to give back to the body of Christ. God's done so much for me. God has blessed me beyond what I could even imagine. And there's still more to come. But the reality of the matter is that as God gives to us abundantly, you know what, there's a lot that's required. And as we start to give back, we start to say, God, I feel so grateful for everything that you've given me, all that you've done in my life. God, I wanna give back to you. And when we give back to God, we want our gift to be received. We don't want our prayers to be blocked. We don't want our, our, our gifts to be blocked. Or else what's the point of giving? We wanna give from a pure heart. We wanna give uh, God glory. We want to give him honor. And part of the way that we do that is by keeping a pure heart, which means staying out of offense, staying out of unforgiveness. So I want to encourage you today that God has a good and awesome plan for your life. Jesus said, I came to give you life and to give it to you more abundantly. He wants you to flow in that abundant life. But part of the way that we're going to uh, live in that abundant life is by staying out of the territory of the enemy, not falling prey to his schemes. His schemes are to kill, to uh, destroy, to <laughs> steal, kill, and destroy the children of God. And he does that by creating division within the body of Christ. I mean, look at what's happening in our country right now. Oh my gosh, please, if you sit down to pray, please pray for our country. Uh, again, this is about binding and loosing. So I'm just going to bind right now. I bind the spirit of division that's come against the body of Christ. I bind that spirit of division that's come against our country. I, God, I just ask that you destroy the, the plots of the enemy. God, I thank you that... Um, I loose the spirit of peace. I loose the spirit of unity. I spirit. I loose the spirit of uh, of joy over the body of Christ. God, I pray that we would come together as the body of Christ. God, just across the nation, God, sweep across the nation and heal our land. God, your word says that if, if we would come before you, if we would humble ourselves and cry out to you, that you would heal our land. And God, I thank you that you're healing us as a people. You're healing us as a country. God, I loose the spirit of God. I loose the kingdom of God over the United States of America, and I declare before heaven and earth that the peace of God will rule and reign in our country and that our religious freedoms would be preserved in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. It starts with us. It starts with, with one person saying, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to overlook uh, these things that are offending me. I'm going to overlook um, the way this person has hurt me or offended me. I'm going to overlook those things and I'm going to look past those for the sake of the kingdom of God. You know what? It starts with us. And as we learn to love and we learn to push past these, these petty little things, you know what? It promotes love and peace and abundance within the body of Christ. And the body of Christ, as the body of Christ, we are going to affect not only our city, our, our state, our country, but we're going to promote unity across the body of Christ and across our country. 
uh, the Word of God says that they will know us by our love. So I want to encourage you that we're going to be talking about love in the coming weeks. Um, God has a good and awesome plan for our life. I have mentioned before in uh, another video that we are starting a YouTube channel and it's called Tea Time with Julia and Jesus. <laughs> Sounds real Southern. Uh, anyway, I technically have not oh, officially released it, but you can find it on YouTube and there's a couple of videos out there. Um, if you go there, please subscribe to that channel and be sure to like the videos because it's going to help us to have a greater influence um, beyond just our circle. And if you have friends that aren't single and want to hear these kind of messages, uh, you can refer them to that place. Anyway, know that I love you. More importantly, God loves you. He has a good and awesome plan for your life. Plans to bless you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. If you'll just call upon his name, he will meet you where you're at. I promise you. You guys have a, a great Thursday. I love you so much. Be safe.